Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about CMOS logic design and it is on the request of a student. And this has been taken from the book CMOS VLSI Design A Circuit and System Perspective by Neil Weste and David Harris. So let's try to recap what is the concept of a MOSFET. So these are three uh, regions. This is the source region and type here shown. And this is the drain region and these this is gate. So if we if you see this diagram, there's a reservoir of water and the gate is controlling the flow of water and whatever is coming out is the drain water. So same concept here. This is the source, this gate is controlling and drain uh, the water goes into the drain. Now uh, the symbol for uh, what is called N type channel is this shown here. The gate is a control input. So this is controlling as we have discussed. It affects the flow of electrical current between the source and drain. So the current flow from source to drain is controlled by the gate. And there are two types. One is called PMOS. Another is called NMOS. That is N-type MOSFET and P-type MOSFET. Now just to remember the symbols are slightly different. This has a hole. So you can remember that P has a hole. So P with a hole. So P type MOS will have a hole or a, a inverter sign we can call. And N type uh, has the, uh, is directly, uh, the signal is directly applied and now we'll see First of all, what will be the output of N type when gate is 0 and when gate is 1? So, this is a simple diagram. So, when and we can keep in mind that ground G for ground is 0 means the circuit is off. So, when the gate is 0, the circuit will be off. So, when the gate is 0, the output will be off. So, we can show it with a switch. And when the gate is 1, the switch will be closed. And the PMOS is just complement of this, just invert of this. So it will be opposite in case of a, a PMOS when uh, G is uh, 0 or gate is 0, then it will be on. And when gate is 1, then it will be off. So just opposite of this complement of NMOS. Okay, a very important point that if you keep in mind, you will uh, have very uh, easily you can solve all the problems. The for every circuit, there are two both NMOS and PMOS are used. The upper one, that is PMOS, will be called the pull up network, and the lower one will be called pull down network. And we'll see what why it is called pull up and pull down. Okay, so in the first case, when this is on, that means we have shown it with a short circuit. So that means the output Y is directly connected to the supply voltage, which is shown as VDD. So that means the output has been pulled up to the source voltage. So that is why this PMOS will be called pulled up transistor. And in the other case, when NMOS is on, then uh, obviously the other one will be off because if one is on, the other will be off. So when this is connected, so it is connecting the output to the ground and that is why we can say that the output has been pulled down to ground. Okay, <clears throat> now two very important points we have to keep in mind. that the end expression whenever we use a and b let's say so the end expression means or it is implemented by series connection of the switches 
so two switches uh, they are connected in series in case of an AND gate and the two switches will be connected in parallel now the, you can see these are in parallel uh, in case of an OR gate so keep, keep this point in mind okay now uh, we'll try to understand an inverter logic we know the uh, total table of an inverter is that when input is 0 the output will be 1 and when the input is 1 the output will be 0 so that is why it is called inverter and this is, we know is the symbol for inverter and, and this is the equation for inverter or boolean expression for inverter that is y is equal to a complement now to implement this we will use n type and p type both and now let's understand when a is 0 then what will happen the complement will be turned on or the PMOS will be turned on and so output will be 1 so when A is 0 output is 1 in this case so we can say that output is equal to VDD or it is equal to high or it is equal to 1 and that is what we got here but if a is 1 in the first case a was 0 now a is 1 so if a is 1 then the n channel will be uh, or n MOS will be 1 so this now the output is now uh, connected to ground directly and therefore the output will be low or 0 or ground so that means this circuit is representing an inverter circuit okay so we have seen the working of uh, inverter network now let's try to design the same the technique is very simple uh, we start with the boolean expression so this is the boolean expression for uh, inverter circuit and we'll work in two steps look carefully for the PMOS pull-up network, we must compute the complementary expression, so that is A bar, using switches that turn on the inverted polarity. And for NMOS pull-down network, take the uninverted expression, that is A, and indicating uh, when the output should be pulled down. So basically, what he's saying is that we connect the NMOS network and uh, uh, sorry PMOS network and NMOS network in such a way that one represents the A complement so this is representing A complement and the uh, NMOS represents without complement A and so this is how you can just realize the circuit so this is very simple it will be more clear when we do one or two examples Okay, now let's try to understand the working of NAND gate. As we know, the, uh, these are the symbols for NAND gate. And this is the Boolean expression. Now this circuit is used uh, for NAND gate in uh, CMOS logic. And uh, as we know that there are two variables, A and B. So we'll have two sets of uh, uh, NMOS and PMOS uh, transistors so like here let's say we can call this one set and these two one sets two sets and this is the truth table uh, of NAND gate now let's verify it's working so what will happen when A is also zero and both uh, and B is also zero so we can say that the N MOS both of the N MOS will be zero or uh, open circuit and so whatever is the output or the uh, supply voltage that will be at the output so we can say a y or the output is one so when both are zero then the output is one the next is a zero and uh, b one so let's see when a zero this one will be off uh, the uh, NMOS connected with A 
and for B the, the P MOS will be off because B is 1 and we know P MOS becomes off when input is 1. So this will be off and this will be off. Still what will happen the output is now, now the, there is no connection here so output is connected to the supply state and so we will say that the output Y is 1 or equal to VCC. So in the second case also output is 1. Now let's go to third case. Third case A is 1 and B is 0. So just like the previous one now A is 1 therefore this is on but B is 0 therefore this is off and now this will be 1 because B is 0 but this transistor will be off because A going here so P mouse will be off but still one of the transistor is connecting Y or pulling Y uh, to VCC therefore output will be 1 and finally when both are 1 so when when this is 1 this is 1 so this is short circuit so it is connecting Y to ground directly and uh, the two of the PMOS transistors now will be off because their input is 1 and so with one input PMOS will be off and so this circuit is uh, performing fine as a NAND gate. Now let's design a circuit for three input NAND gate. We have to keep in mind that the OR expression uh, uh, is represented by, a par by parallel combinations and AND expressions uh, can be impl implemented by a series connection. So with this in mind, now let's first of all straight away we go to the Boolean expression for three input to NAND gate. So I hope you understand this that A dot B dot C inverted that will be uh, these three will be three input AND gate and when we uh, put a bar on it then it will be three input NAND gate. So the technique is that we will uh, keep the uh, complemented variable for the PMOS and non-complemented uh, for the NMOS. And now we'll try to simplify. Now this can be written as A bar and plus B bar plus C bar. I hope you, uh, you know this uh, technique. So we have to actually separate each variables. Uh, not keep it together. So we have separated this and now you can see that th these are represented by the plus sign or OR sign and for the case of OR we have to make three sets of uh, PMOS in parallel. So these will be three sets of PMOS in parallel. So you can see the three sets of PMOS in parallel uh, and now the AND gate is represented by series, so there will be three sets of AND MOS in series. So this is how we can uh, design the circuit for three input NAND gate. Let's see uh, one more design. Sketch a three input CMOS NOR gate. Here also we will follow exactly the same technique. We write the uh, equation, Boolean equation, expression for three input NOR gate. I hope you can write A or B or C and then invert it. So we will follow exactly the same steps. For the case of a PMOS we write the complemented and for the case of a NMOS we write without complement and then we will break it into uh, uh, three parts. So this will now be A inverted and B inverted and C inverted. So this is now AND gate and AND gate can be implemented by series whereas at the bottom it is uh, OR gate so OR gate can be implemented with parallel. So the top one or the PMOS will be in series and the NMOS will be in parallel. So let's see how it will be so like this. The, uh, the PMOS will be in series and the three N MOSs will be in parallel. So this is how you can design the NOR gate circuit. And uh, when 
you have compound the gates as shown here. Uh, now this gate, I, I'll not design it. I hope you can do it. We'll do another one, but I'm just uh, le uh, letting it know how it is named. This type of function is called AND or invert to 2. So that means this is AND and this is AND then is OR, so this is OR then this is invert and 2 2 means 2 inputs so 2 inputs A uh, 2 2 inputs, that is 2 inputs here and 2 inputs here and this is for short also written A O I 22 so AND OR invert 2 2 input now we'll design uh, a similar circuit sketch the static CMOS gate compute, uh, computing for this variable here also we will follow the techniques uh, just the, the name for this is now these are the ORs so OR AND AND INVERT INVERT three one so three variables here and one variable here ok so just following the previous techniques, we write the uh, complemented here and non-complemented uh, for NMOS. Then we break down the complemented part. So first of all, we replace this AND sign with OR and we have two parts. Now since this is an OR gate, that means these are in parallel. So there will be two parallel streams, one for this hole and the other for the right one. And now we need to further break down because we have to break down to every variable level. So we'll break this down further. And now this will be A bar and B bar and C. So two parallels and then this will be in series. So we can say it like this. These are the two parallel streams. One in one side D and the other side A, B, C, D and since these are in series so we have to uh, show them in series so this is the uh, uh, PMOS part and now let's see for this one now here you can easily see that AND gate that means series so there are two set of series components and then the, this is OR gate so these three will be in parallel so how to draw that okay parallel and series so we'll, we can draw it like this a two set of series then these three in parallel and so the net result is the combination of the two so this is the final answer so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve uh, or design uh, cmos logic circuits thank you